Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a HDR image photo using GIMP. So let's open up our web browser and we'll go to Unsplash. And today I think we'll look for a landscape. So let's look for a landscape photo. And um, something like this will be pretty good. Uh, maybe not that one. What's this one like? Yeah, let's use this one. So I'll click download free. I'll put a link to this in the YouTube description so you can use the same image and we just drag and drop that image into this directory we'll close this and then we'll open up GIMP so we drag this image into GIMP we've got the photo here and the first thing we want to do is right click on the picture in this layer so right click on the layers and then just do duplicate layer so we've got two copies and then do it one more time now we've got three copies and we're going to hide the bottom one so click on this little eye icon here to hide that bottom layer and on this top layer we want to right click and then add a layer mask and that layer mask we set to white full opacity and then click the add button so you see these two sections here one is the layer mask and one is the image we're going to click on the image and it will be a white border around it so you know it's selected then we'll go to color and we'll go to levels and inside levels, I'm going to drag the left handle across the screen, across here to something like something like this. Mid level, something like this. I want the colours to pop out a bit more, a bit more drama in this sky, and we'll click OK. Then we're going to click on the layer mask. So we'll click on this layer mask here, the white section. And then we'll go to uh, gradient tool here. And the mode we'll leave on dissolve here. And we'll set the opacity or the uh, gradient to foreground to background, this, this option here, clockwise. And we'll drag from the top down to here like this so let's just check one thing yep that's fine so you need to make sure the white is at the top and the black is at the bottom yeah like this when you drag down if it's the other way around then you're going to see it's going to lighten like this you just want to make sure the white is on the top like this okay once you've done that click on the paintbrush tool and the mode will leave to normal and then we can increase the size of the paintbrush. Let's make it quite big actually. Something like this. And we're just going to paint over the sky. Just the sky part. Around here. Like this. And when we get closer to the hill, we want to zoom in a bit and reduce the size a bit. Make sure opacity is set to 100. You can spend a bit more time doing this a bit cleaner, but for now I'm just going to pretty quick job here Okay, that should be good. So with the sky in this sort of darkened color like this. And then we want to switch over so that black is on the top. And then we can increase the size of the brush. And then we want to go all over this mountain and the landscape, the, gr the grass. So we'll just set it to quite a large brush size. And then we want to cover all of this section here.
maybe make it smaller. You can spend a bit more time between um, between like, along this edge here, between the sky and the mountain, trying to get in and do a cleaner cut. And we can zoom in and out using the control key and the mouse wheel. And then we can pan by holding down the, the middle mouse button. We can move the canvas around. So as we're doing our work, we can get a better sort of control. So let's just make sure we've gone over all of this. Okay, we'll go to file save as then on our desktop we should have here and i'm going to call it let's just call it here image dash zero one and we'll save that and then we'll go to file export and we'll save it as jpeg file image zero one and we set it to 90% and can export it and then we can go to file save as and we'll make a version two and click save and then we can go to we can click on the actual um, this photograph here yeah? this side not the layer mask but this side and then we can go to color and we can go to Q chroma and then we can start playing around with actually the colors here so we can actually change the sky color right but playing around with the hue here you can mess around with it get different colors and the chroma as well you can go ahead and experiment and see like you know what works for you just got to play around with it and see what colors look good so Sometimes it looks a bit fake, right? If you go too high, but you can get some pretty good effects. So something like this, maybe. Let's see what this one looks like. Where is it? Okay, we we'll just click OK on that one. And we'll go to file save file export as and we we'll call it image two we'll export that as a jpeg as well we'll close that and gimp then we'll have this is the original image that we first started off with and here we can see like the difference between the two so it's not the cleanest we could have cut in much cleaner here we could have spent more time cutting in and doing a cleaner job but it's not too bad for the sort of time that we spent on it um, and you can go and experiment so you know how to do this job now and these are like slightly different colors I believe yeah just slightly different colors so go and experiment play around with the um, the hue and the saturation and the blend modes and you can take quite a dull looking sky like that and change it to something a bit more dramatic and bright and just go and play around with the different settings and see what works for you okay so that's how you change um, just like a normal photograph into something that's got more like a high dynamic range content color content okay hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.